Hey folks, hello and welcome to Kamal Kitchen. Uh, my name is Pragati and today we are t- going to talk about the fabulous multi blender that the folks at Hamilton Beach have sent me. So we'll start with the unboxing of the machine. As you can see, this uh, product is very well packed. We have this uh, uh, box which is uh, taped up really nicely. As you open the box, you'll see the warranty card right at the top. Now you need to uh, put that in a safe place because this thing comes with a two-year warranty. In the other individual items like the blender jar, which is a shatterproof Triton jar, is packed separately. Then you have your chopper, which has a S-way, you know, the kind you have in a food processor, which is great for chopping or you know, roughly chopping things and not you know, making a smooth paste. And there's a stir stick, which is really great for stirring things as you are blending, like your smoothies or juices. You don't, you know, there's no need to stop, you know, open the lid, stir the things with a spoon. And the base has a very powerful motor which has up to 700 watts of peak power. And it's got a you know, stainless steel type look. It's a very posh look you know, as opposed to you know, plastic which just plain plastic which some of the machines have. So this is the whole product and everything that you get. The first recipe that we will be making today is a tropical smoothie. Uh, it's a very simple recipe. It needs only five ingredients. And it's, a, it's vegan, it's paleo. So, you know, even if you have special dietary needs, this recipe is going to work for you. We start with the liquid. You know, if you read the manual, it's uh, clearly given there. And this is how you make a smoothie. Now, always, whenever you use a blender, always add your liquid at the bottom first. Then we will add all the chopped fruit one by one. So I add the bananas and strawberries and the pineapple. And then the most important ingredient for a smoothie, ice. Now, you cannot have a frosty drink without ice. Once you have the ice, just close the lid and start blending away. What I do, what I like to do is I always, uh, you know, pulse a couple of times and then uh, hit the blend button and let the machine run for a minute or so. And with this Hamilton Beach blender, you know, one minute is going to be really enough for this quantity. And the stir stick is in action now. You can see the machine is whirring, like the blades are whirring, the machine is on and I'm just using the stick to mix it all in. It just makes the whole process go faster. The blender comes with a spout and they call it a mess-free spout. As you can see, you know, I can very easily pour the smoothie without any spills. And here it is, the tropical smoothie, frosty delight, which is ready in, you know, less than five minutes. Uh, you can check out the recipe on my blog at kamalkitchen.com. The next thing that we are going to do is uh, another cl- crowd pleaser is salsa. Uh, you know, we all love our chips and salsa, but it's very hard to find a good bottled salsa in India. So this is a very basic recipe that I'm going to talk about. And it's really easy using the chopper jar that comes with the Hamilton Beach Bender. So... These are all the ingredients for, that you will need for the salsa. As you can see, they're just basic stuff that you have in your kitchen almost all the time. Just, you know, onions, tomatoes, chili peppers, a capsicum or bell pepper, and lemon. You can use limes, or you should use a lime if you have access to some, but we don't get limes here.
So I first add some tomatoes to the chopper jar and this you know the half the batch I want to you know crush these and not blend these. I mean I don't want a puree, I just want the texture of crushed tomatoes. And the next thing I'm going to do is mix the other stuff and chop it roughly, which I can easily do using the pulse button. And the S blade is what is in action here. And now I'm chopping some coriander or cilantro. The salsa recipe is also out there on my blog. And here it is, and salsa is almost ready. And all it needs to do now is sit in the fridge for a day or so. This was a Hamilton Beach blender in action. Please visit my blog for more recipes and uh, thanks for watching this video. Check out Hamilton Beach. Uh, they are new in India but they have been around in the US for a very long time and this is not the first time that I'm using Hamilton Beach products. I've used them for several years in the US. This is a really great product. As you see, you can make some simple recipes simple, healthy and yummy recipes which are very easy using the Hamilton Beach Multi Blender. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.